Uh, so far, we have learned about continuous variables and uh, some of uh, properties related to continuous variables. And you may no notice that it is very similar to uh, that of discrete variable cases. And uh, from now, we will learn about some of uh, famous probability di distributions. Okay. Okay, in chapter 4.4, uh, we will learn about the uniform probability distribution. And uh, to understand about the uniform probability distribution, uh, let me give you a simple example. Suppose that a bus always arrives at a particular stop between 8 and 8.10 a.m. Uh, okay, so, so a bus is always stopped uh, between 8 and a 10. Uh, probability that the bus will arrive in any given sub-interval of time is proportional only to the length of the sub-interval. So, so the probability that the bus will arrive in any interval, um, it is related to only only related to length of the sub-interval. Uh, okay. So this situation can be modeled as uniform probability distribution. So uh, for any given interval, for any given interval, if the length is the same, uh, then the probability, the area of the uh, the a1 and a2 uh, are the same. So um, so uh, let us uh, for for the event a1. Uh, this is um, a bus arrive, bus arrive uh, between eight and eight uh, two, and the the event, the second event a two. Uh, let's say that bus arrives. Uh, between eight six to eight uh, eight. Uh, since it then then what would be the probability of uh, each event? Uh, and and uh, you can uh, assume uniform probability distribution for this uh, case. So. Uh, so this is our density function f y, and um, probably we can say that uh, since it is probability density function, uh, the 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 integration from zero to ten f y should be uh, one d y. Uh, so uh, so it the, the the area of this uh, uh, should be one. So this is 1 over 10 and the, the probability for a1 uh, probability of a1 uh, is 2 over 10 which is 1 over 5 and probability of a2 uh, is again 2 over 10 which is 1 over 5 okay then I, uh, this is simple example for uh, for uh, the random variable that borrows uniform probability distribution. Okay, so here comes the definition. If theta1 uh, is less than theta2, a random variable y is said to have a continuous uniform probability distribution on the interval theta1 and theta2, if and only if the density function of y is uh, like this. So it, it's like um, if this is theta 2 and, and this is theta 1, uh, to make the area of this Fy, uh, to make the area uh, as 1, uh, the, the h should be uh, 1 over theta 2 minus theta 1. So, so this is the form for uniform probability distribution. Uh, and here comes the definition 4.7. The constant that determines the specific 
form of a density function are called parameters of the density function. So in the previous example, um, it, there comes the theta1 and theta2, uh, and theta1 is less than theta2, uh, and this parameter determines the density function. Uh, this theta1 and theta2, theta1 and theta2, uh, determine the, the, the density function itself. Uh, so, so these are uh, called parameters, and uh, and in the future we are going to see a lot more of parameters related to uh, different uh, continuous random variables or or for discrete random variables. Let's look at the example four point seven. Arrivals of customers at a checkout counter follow a Poisson distribution. Okay, so arrival of a customer at a checkout counter uh, for for a given time, uh, the number of arrivals. Uh, uh, follow Poisson distribution uh, with lambda. This is parameter. Yeah, it is known that. During a given 30 minute period, so this is 30 minute period, one customer arrived at the, at the counter. Find the probability that customer arrived during last 5 minutes of 30 minute period. Okay, so, so in the Poisson distribution situation, uh, the, the number um, of events happen inside of this uh, time interval follows Poisson distribution. And actually, uh, the, the probability of event happen in this sub-interval, uh, they are all equally likely. Uh, if you divide these at sub-interval, um, um, it's kind of approximated as binomial distribution. Um, so so the, the probability for each event happen in the sub-interval sub um, can be modeled as uniform distribution. The, the probability that uh, any event happen in the sub-interval inside of a uh, 30 minute range, um, they only depend on the length of the interval. Uh, so, um, so, so we can model it as um, uniform distribution and um, we can say, we can make it something like this. Uh, theta theta one is zero. Theta two is thirty. And uh, the the during the last five minutes, so twenty five to thirty. Uh, so what we want to calculate is um, probability of uh, uh, y is. Uh, probability of y is um, between this and actually this is the area here so it is um, 5 over 30 which is 1 over 6 okay and here comes theorem 4.6 uh, if theta1 is less than theta2 and y is a random variable, uniform uh, random variable uniformly distributed on the interval theta1 and theta2, um, yeah, then mu is the expected value of y is theta1 plus theta2 divided by 2, and the sigma square vy is uh, theta2 minus theta1 square over uh, 12. Okay, uh, let's let's uh, check how it is how this is true. Okay, so here uh, theta one, theta two, the distribution function looks like this. So uh, f y is uh, one over theta two minus theta one uh, for for y is uh, greater than theta 1 and 
less than theta 2 and 0 otherwise. This is uh, the form of probability density function for a uh, uniform distribution. So to calculate EY, uh, you can use the definition is uh, sigma minus infinity to infinity um, y uh, fy dy and actually uh, this is zero uh, in outside of this interval so this is theta 1 to theta 2 uh, y 1 over theta 2 minus theta 1 uh, dy and and this is um, 2 1 over 2 y square uh, 1 over 2 y square and times 1 over theta 2 minus theta 1 and uh, we put Theta one, theta two. So this is uh, theta two minus theta one two times this, and uh, theta two uh, square um, minus um, two minus theta one. Uh, theta 1 square and this is uh, 2 theta 2 minus theta 1 and here theta 2 minus theta 1 and theta 2 plus theta 1 and here this cancel and the result is uh, theta 2 minus theta 1 over 2 uh, oh plus plus so this is proof for the expect, expected value of y. Okay, then uh, let's calculate variance part of uh, uh, this. So the for the variance part, um, vy uh, is actually it's easier to use uh, calculate this one. Uh, EY square minus mu square and so uh, let's calculate EY square and this is uh, sigma theta 1 to theta 2 Y square 1 over theta 2 minus theta 1 uh, DY and this is uh, 1 over 3 Y third and 1 over theta 2 minus theta 1 and uh, we put theta 1 and theta 2 here and so he, uh, here the constant term is 3 times theta 2 minus theta 1 uh, and we are uh, we put theta 2 in here and minus theta 1 here which is uh, theta 2 third minus theta one third and and actually this is um, three times theta two minus theta one uh, theta two minus theta one uh, theta two square plus theta two theta one plus theta one square and this one cancelled and uh, we have uh, 3 uh, here and theta 2 square plus theta 2 theta 1 plus theta 1 square okay and and uh, let's calculate uh, the variance of y v y um, is uh, 3 over theta 2 square plus theta 2 theta 1 plus theta 1 square uh, and minus mu square which is uh, 4 uh, theta 1 plus theta 2 uh, square and this is uh, 12 and yeah, 
4 times theta 2 square plus 4 times theta 2 theta 1 and plus 4 times theta 1 square uh, minus 3 times uh, theta 1 square plus 2 theta 1 theta 2 plus theta 2 uh, square okay so now uh, 4 theta 2 square minus 3 theta 1 square uh oh here 4 theta 1 square minus 3 theta 1 square is theta 1 square uh, theta 1 square and also 4 theta 2 theta 1 minus 6 theta 2 theta 1 which is minus 2 minus 2 theta 1 theta 2 and plus uh, 4 theta 2 square minus 3 theta 1 square which is uh, theta 2 square uh, this is theta. and so this is uh, theta 1 minus theta 2 square divided by uh, 12 and this is same as uh, this one so this is proof for the variance part and yeah Okay. Uh, chapter 4.5 is about the normal probability distribution and the normal probability distribution is uh, most widely used and, and popular distribution and we also call it the, the bear-shaped uh, distribution and uh, because uh, many uh, situations uh, can be explained with this normal distribution and uh, we are going to learn in the future about central limit theorem that that any uh, distribution of some some of random variable uh, that converges to normal distribution and so there are many uh, uh, things important things related to the normal distribution so let's uh, study about the normal distribution definition 4.8 talks about the normal probability distribution a random variable y is said to have a normal probability distribution if and only if for for the the, the sigma greater than zero and uh, mu uh, the density function of y uh, is uh, like this and and the y is minus infinity to infinity and um, and if, if you uh, draw the graph for this uh, normal curve uh, it looks like this the center is mu and this sigma square uh, it, it determines the the division like like um, it controls the variance term variance of the distribution so, uh, theorem 4.7 talks about uh, mean and variance of the normal distribution if y is normally distributed random variable with parameter mu and sigma then ey expected value of y is mu and variance of y is sigma square and before we um, think about expected value and variance of uh, y uh, let's think about standardized version of y so if if we define our z as uh, y minus mu uh, divided by sigma square uh, sigma um, then what would be mean and variance of z uh, so here if we standardize um, y then then expected value of z um, would be uh, this mu and constant so uh, uh, this would be sigma e y minus mu and this would be zero and about the variance variance of y um, would be uh, sigma square uh, Vari uh, variance of z variance of z is um, sigma square variance of uh, y which is uh, sigma square by sigma square uh, this cancels and one 
so, um, so if we standardize uh, z like this, then we will uh, get mean zero and variance one. Uh, and uh, what would be the distribution function uh, if we uh, uh, change the the um, variable like this? Then then uh, actually what we know is uh, sigma minus infinity to infinity uh, f y dy equals one. And and here, uh, if we change the the uh, y with z, then then if this is the case, then dz is uh, one over sigma dy, and uh, if you put uh, this in here then then what you will get is uh, one over uh, no of uh, minus uh, two over z square uh, d y and here uh, 1 over sigma dy, this is dz, so we, um, sigma to sigma 1 over uh, z square uh, dz. Uh, since, uh, so, so, uh, so, so summing up uh, this one is 1. So this is the density function for z. So the density function for z is um, uh, e to the minus. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the probability density function for the standardized normal distribution and um, if we prove that the, the expected value of z uh, equals zero and if we prove expected value of um, z square which uh, is uh, one and actually this one uh, variance of z is e of z square uh, minus uh, mu square and since this is zero uh, variance of z is expected value of uh, z square so if we prove this first and second then then uh, we can uh, get uh, expected value of y equals mu and expected uh, variance of y uh, equals sigma square uh, from uh, y is sigma z plus uh, mu. Okay, uh, so so rather than proving this directly, we will prove um, this one. Okay, so let's start um, to prove expected value of z uh, is zero. Our uh, probability density function uh, for z is one over square root of two pi uh, and e to the minus uh, y square divided by uh, two. Okay, so, um, so expected value of z uh, is sigma minus infinity to infinity um, z times uh, 1 over square root 2 pi uh, e to the, oh here this is z, uh, minus 2z square uh, dz. Okay, 
and actually from here uh, this z times uh, z times expected value of minus z square uh, actually this one uh, is odd function it's it's odd function something like this so uh, integrating from uh, minus infinity to infinity the area here and area here uh, cancel cancelled out so this expectation uh, this becomes zero because uh, we are uh, integrating the area of this curve uh, the area is this one and if the area over here is a then area over here is minus a so a plus minus a equals zero um, actually what we uh, we need to prove one more thing um, which is uh, this area a a uh, is less than infinity actually we should we need to show this one uh, so uh, to prove this more rigorously actually we you should uh, prove uh, from zero to infinity um, z uh, e minus z square uh, dz uh, is uh, is less than infinity you should you should you should prove uh, prove this thing uh, then then uh, how to prove this uh, actually if you put z square as u uh, then um, du is uh, 2z d z okay so um, from here um, 2z d z z d z is d u uh, d z d is sigma uh, 1 over 2 du and e2 minus u square uh, oh no no e2 minus u okay so uh, so if you integrate it it's uh, 0 to infinity mm. e2 minus u 1 over 2 uh, from 0 to infinity and this is uh, e to the minus infinity which is uh, 0 and oh actually this is minus because it have minus here and, and it's plus uh, 1 over 2 e to 0 is 1 so this one is 1 over 2 so uh, we can see that um, the 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 area of here is uh, greater than uh, 0 and less than infinity so uh, this is, this can be proved Uh, actually, from here, I um, used some kind of kind of abbreviated form. If this is less than infinity, uh, this the, the integral from zero to infinity of the inside part that also uh, less than infinity. So that's why I proved this one. Okay. Okay. Now let's prove the variance part. Okay, so uh, variance of z uh, is one. We want to show this, and and this is actually e z square is one, uh, and uh, and f z is one over two pi square root of two pi e to the minus uh, z square uh, over Okay, and from here, 
uh, e to the z square. Uh, this is sigma minus infinity to infinity uh, z square uh, 1 over 2 pi uh, e to the minus uh, z square over 2 dz. And from here, uh, let z uh, equals um, v and v dash is 1 and u prime is uh, z times e to the minus 2z square and then uh, u is um, minus e to uh, minus z square okay so you if you get the derivative of this thing you get uh, this one uh, okay so so this is um uh, and and i will move this outside of this equation so one over square root of two pi and um, here uv uv uh, minus infinity to infinity uh, minus uh, this is v v u minus infinity to infinity dz okay and so this is 1 over 2 pi um, uv is uh, minus z e uh, minus z square over 2 uh, minus infinity to infinity and uh, minus uh, minus infinity to infinity uh, v square minus e to the minus 2 uh, z square dz and and actually this is plus okay and and from here this part um, e to the infinity minus infinity and e to the minus infinity uh, here minus z square over 2 this part always go 0 so it is 0 minus 0 so this part is 0 and so the, the here is one over um, uh, and and also if you multiply this uh, inside of here uh, it is sigma minus infinity to infinity okay actually this is square root of one over square root of two pi uh, e to the minus uh, z square over two dz and actually, um, this is probability density function for z. So if you uh, integrate this thing from minus infinity to infinity, then this should be 1. Uh, because this one is the probability density function for z. Okay, so, so this is proof for uh, the variance part. So when we are calculating the probability related to normal distribution, we usually uh, normalize the, the normal distribution by uh, subtracting mu and dividing uh, sigma, and, and uh, we call it uh, as a standard normal distribution. And uh, we, we use standardized normal distribution table. So uh, from here, how, how the, the area here area is. Mm. Uh, this is uh, table 4 from the appendix and and it is probability of z is uh, greater than uh, z small z uh, and and uh, here the small z if it is uh, 0 if the, the probability is z is greater than 0 and this is actually uh, z is greater than 0 which is uh, 0.5 uh, 
and and we can check it from here and so uh, if if z is uh, uh, 1 then then uh, what about probability of z is greater than 1 uh, then if it if it is the case then here it's 1 and so this is uh, 0.1587 so this is how to read the table uh, for the standard normal uh, distribution and um, you can use this table to solve uh, problems related to normal distribution okay uh, Let's solve example 4.8. Uh, let z denote a normal random variable with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. So, so z is standard normal distribution. Uh, z follows standard normal distribution. And to prove the, the, the to find the probability, you should uh, you need table uh, probability density table for a normal distribution. And uh, to calculate p z is greater than 2. Uh, if you find here pg is 2 and uh, then you can check that this is 0 0.0228 and to solve this um, to calculate b uh, uh, you can always uh, uh, find the the find this area so and and uh, so uh, to, to solve this, um, you can find uh, you can find one minus p uh, e probability of z is uh, greater than two. Uh, this is probability of uh, z is less than two, uh, and so um, you can calculate. Um, area here and also the area of this part is 0.5 so um, the the area here uh, the area here is 0 0.0228 and area here is point uh, four seven seven two and and um, actually uh, from minus two to two, the the area here is same as area here. So uh, this one is uh, two times uh, zero point four seven seven two, and for this part, uh, you can calculate uh, probability of z is greater than uh, one point seven three. Uh, which is 1.73 is here uh, this is uh, 0 0.0409 and um, the, uh, so you calculated this part and what you want is uh, calculate uh, this part which is um, 1 minus 0 0.0409 minus 0 0.5 uh, so uh, which is 0 0.4591 uh, so this is 0 0.4591 okay let's move on to example 4.9 the Achievement scores for a college entrance examination are normally distributed with mean, uh, okay, so mean uh, 75 and standard deviation 10. Uh, what fraction of the score lies between, okay, so our y uh, follows normal this, and what we want to calculate probability of uh, y is between uh, 80 and 90 okay and and let's normalize this and use the the standard normal distribution table so y minus 75 
divide by 10. Uh, then it will follow normal distribution 0, 1. And so, uh, so this probability is uh, 80 minus 75 uh, divided by 10. Y minus 75 divided by 10. And 90 minus 75 divided by 10. And then this is probability of uh, 1 over 2 z um, 1.5 okay and and um, uh, and use the the table for for the normal uh, standard normal distribution to find the probability of this one and then then you will get the solution for this okay And these are homework problems for uh, chapter 4.5. Thank you.